Welcome to a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Collector's Edition from Square Enix. So inside the box, it was a pretty big box, not got space of it here, but we did get the deluxe version of the game on the PS5. Nice holographic shiny front cover. Pretty much the same box as the uh, Deluxe Edition on the PS4, the Collect Edition, nice kind of velvety feel to it. There's our contents. So I did also get quite a few bits of DLC with this as well. Um, two summons, the Magic Pot and the Trio of Moogles. As well as various accessories and uh, armour. For the uh, for the characters, just pop that in there. Can't really see it. So, start from the top. We have the mini soundtrack for Rebirth. It's a collection of songs there. I mean, the music in Final Fantasy VII has always been the absolute best. Some of my favourite game music ever made. Let's have a look at the art book, which is really nice. So the art of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Nothing on the back there. It's a decent size for how small it is. I'm not going to spoil too much in the art book because there are spoilers in there. Let's have a picture of Cloud. Yeah, really nice art book. We have our steel book for the game. It's Cloud and Zack there on the front outside Midgar. And obviously the bust sword on the back. Not too much inside. Yeah, that's quite nice. Obviously we get the game, physical version of the game, that's important. A lot of these collect editions now and come with digital versions, but yeah, full physical version of the game, which is nice to have. We obviously have our, our data disc, and that's got Sephiroth on. A re, obviously the disc is in the console, I've been playing it, it's amazing. Reversible cover, so it matches the other version. They both have this reversible cover so they can kind of look identical and fit in. That's the other side, as well as some various bits of paper, obviously Square Enix code and some order bonuses. The game's coming, coming soon. The second set of cards, which uh, we'll be looking out for after completing the first set. Um, I'll put a video if you're interested in seeing them. Got our Sephiroth card that came with that. And on to the main event, the figurine. So yeah, it comes in a pretty big box, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Static Arts, that's the importance, not a Play Arts one with the, the movable figure, it is a Static Arts figurine, so just uh, And the main box itself, containing our Sephiroth figurine, just a bit of info. Other than that, Pretty plain box. Let's look inside. So we are greeted with our assembly instructions. So it is a figurine, pretty much, of the, the bonus card that I got. So it goes quite, quite well. Top layer of foam. Our first layer of parts, we've got his head, we can see the torso, biggest part of the wing, and in fact both parts of the wing there. So you can have the figurine with or without the wing. It does look quite big with the wing on, so whether I've got enough space to store it, I'm not sure. Might have to have it without the wing. Yeah, that's our first layer of foam. And there 
in the bottom we have obviously the sword his torso and the base So obviously, Sephiroth's amazing Mazumeen Katana. Put that on there. Start with the base, obviously on the Statue of Fire. It's quite clear, so I guess if I could work out a way of putting a light underneath it, it would light up and even have one that flickers, that would look pretty cool. So that's something to think about. There's our Sephiroth torso and legs. It's quite stiff to get on. I've not put it on all the way yet, but yeah, there he is on his base. The head and hair going on. And the sword. So the base and the sword just pop off to get through his hand. And that is basically the statue without the wing. Pretty cool. Let's get the wing on. Two pieces of wing. Again, a nice snug fit. But there is our wing piece. Yeah, it's a little tall. And just in his back here, you can just pop out oh, a little bit of his back. His wing put in there. And with his head put back on, we have Sephiroth. The one winged angel. Look at that. That's pretty cool. But like I say, the wing is insanely big. It's quite heavy as well. But yeah. Really, really impressed with that. And with a light, that should look pretty damn awesome. So there we are, the collector's edition from Square Enix for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The game is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, anyone with into the series should definitely go check it out. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.